Okay, so for uh, my neckband, I sewed it on my sewing machine using a lightning stitch at the 5 8 seam allowance. And then I surged the edge on my serger. Then when I flipped it up, the um, seam allowance, <laughs> the seam allowance is going to be folded down. Then you can just go ahead and top stitch around the um, collar, keeping um, the seam allowance down. And then since mine was at the angle, I had this little bit extra triangle right here. So I just went ahead and folded that under. And then I did a little, um, what is it called, a slip stitch maybe? <laughs> um, just hand stitched them together so that when Travis is wearing it, it won't um, show when he turns or anything like that. Okay, so once you're done attaching the sleeve, so in our old house, I had a sewing room all to myself, and in our new house, that's not the case. There is no door. Um, so, okay, so you're, you're done attaching the sleeve, then you're going to pin up the arm along the raw edge and then down the side of the bodice. So I already did that on the other side and then I sewed it up. You can see here. Oh wow, that, now the light is so much better. Uh, you can see here. So now we just have to add the cuffs and then hem. Okay, so now we're going to do the last two steps. It's kind of like I have the sun sitting on top of my hip. <laughs> okay, so you're going to take your cuff and you are going to fold it in half, right sides together. I like to do it long ways. And then you're going to sew up the side and then fold it over so it's right sides out and then quarter it. So you're going to quarter this. You're going to quarter the sleeve opening here. And then. And you're going to sew those together and then to hem the bottom of the shirt there is a hem notch on the pattern piece and you can either serge the raw edge and then fold it up to the hem notch and then use your twin needle or you can um, fold it up a little bit and then fold it up again at the hem notch so that you're hiding the raw edge and then at any point during this you could have done your buttonholes and your buttons on the Henley placket so if those aren't done yet, go ahead and do those too.